is a video about uh, matrices and transformations uh, using various object types. And uh, we've got them all on at once to start with, but we'll clear the screen in a moment. Um, the unit square is the basis of all transformations. So uh, I put a vector 2, 0 in the first column, which is the transformation of 1, 0. So that point's gone to there. This is the transformation A1. Now A is 2, so 2, 1, 2 along and 1 up is going to be the transformation of this point here. So the sum produces this point here, so this square has become this parallelogram. And in the case of this graph of y equals x squared, I've made it into a data set and transformed that with the same matrix, 2, 0, and b1 this time. Uh, b at the moment is 0, and so it's just going to be an enlargement in the x direction. And this one, c is 1, so again it's going to be a sort of shear in the x direction. So let's see how these animate. First of all, this one, if we make uh, A bigger, what's that going to do? A, don't forget, is the x coefficient of the of this point here, of this. So x at the moment is 2, so it's going to move to the right. Always try to predict things before they actually happen. Yes, that's good. Um, this one, B, is the transformation of this um, parabola. It's all going to shift to the right. Yes, look at that. So that's a shear to the right. And likewise this one. Now what we can we can have some fun with this one here. The, um, I've put a little circle around the bottom point here so I can move it to wherever I want it to go. So if I move this point to here, where's this one going to end up? Well, this one's going to end up at 2, 0, because that's the transformation 2, 0 of this point here. So let's do that. Yes. And if we move it to here, where's it going to go? Well, it depends on the value of C in this case, which is 1. So it's going to go to 1, 1. It's going to go to there. Yes, it does indeed do that. So it's quite possible to have some fun with matrices and see uh, if you can understand all the various bits. So how is this all done? Let's have a new page. OK, let's settle this up now. Uh, first of all, we want equal aspect, definitely. And uh, let's have a look at edit axes and give that nice appearance of the graph paper that works quite nicely. Right, um, let's enter a shape and we're going to take the unit square which is that fellow there and that will go here of course. Now right click matrix transformation and the matrix I'm using is 2 tab 0 tab A tab 1. So I'm putting a constant in which always takes an initial value of 1. So let's think what that's going to do. 2 0 is going to go to here and A1 is 1, 1, so this point is going to go to here. So it's going to go to here and here and up like that. Yes, that's good. Um, it's quite nice you can sort of model, model these around to make sure you understand which one goes where. That one goes there and that one goes there, of course. This one is responsible for that point there. And this, of course, is the sum. If you have trouble moving them around, you can always use the arrow keys, which is quite a nice way of doing it with a bit more certainty. Now, if we if we double click on this, uh, you can change it to something else, uh, which is fair enough. You might want to use one of the users to find ones down here. But you notice the lightning has lit up the animate object, so I'm going to do that now, and this gives you a chance to animate the value of a. So um, here's the matrix two zero a one. So I'm going to click on this button. That will change a from one to one point one. Now remember, a is the x coordinate of the um, co transformation of 0, 1. So at the moment it is 1, 1, so it's 1 along and 1 up to so this point. It's going to move to the right, which is going to drag the whole thing round. You ready, steady, go. Yes. Nice to be able to predict these things in advance. So move that up to 2, and you can see that that's quite a nice way of exploring those. Um, the next object was y equals x squared, so I'm just going to put y equals x, x. It's on slow plot, but I'll hurry it up a bit. And let's just drag it all down here so we can see what's going on. Now if I deselect everything and select just the function, one of the options is to create a data set. So we need to make it into a set of points so that the matrix operations can operate OK. So I'm just going to click OK. And down the bottom here it doesn't say uh, matrix. That's because the function itself is still selected. So deselect that and just select the data set and now you'll get the matrix transformation just off the bottom. So object is a good way of doing that. Matrix transformation. There it goes. 
So this time we'll put in 2 tab 0 tab B tab 1. So what, what's that going to do? Now, the we haven't got any points on the graph uh, that are equivalent to 1, 0 and 0, 1. But we do have this point here. So uh, if you imagine what this point is going to do, this, this, this point here is going to move to where this one would have been if, B, if A was 1, which I think was here, wasn't it? OK, let's try that. And there it goes. So it might be an idea to, if you press Control and highlight a particular point, you can put a little circle around it. And let's make the circle point 1. not with control down. Point 1, that's better. That's a nice little circle there. And if we do the same on this one, again you have to press control and release it and right click, circle, point 1. Now you can see how these relate. But first of all we need to uh, think about it, so let's just select that as a data set and then here we have the ability to animate B, and if we make B bigger and smaller, you can see that it's just going up and down like that, just like the other one did. But it's having that effect on the graph. And then finally, uh, we put a shape on, a different shape altogether, so insert shape, and let's take the flag and stick that up here somewhere. So if we take that and object matrix transformation and put in 2 tab 0 tab C tab 1. Again C will be 1 so there's going to be a general shift to the right, shear to the right and there it goes. But it's quite nice to explore this. You see that point here, um, if we take this down to this point here it's going to end up with this one here. And, of course, you can have some fun with all that sort of thing. So, a nice little look at transformations, and uh, I hope you find that useful.